Welcome to the channel. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about how the Phantom 4 Pro performs in uh, extremely low temperatures. Um, here in Mongolia lately we've had a very cold winter. Um, it's been down several times uh, under uh, 40 degrees, minus 40 degrees. Uh, that's the same in both uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius, so uh, that's the that's the easy conversion to remember. <laughs> On the day that I was uh, filming this uh, footage in particular, it was about minus 36, and what I wanted to do was to show you basically what the performance level of the uh, Phantom 4 Pro was under these conditions. Um, there was some wind, especially up high, uh, but in general, the uh, the drone performed really, really well. Uh, certainly reduced battery, and I have um, uh, I've provided a, a, a time hack up in the upper right-hand corner. That's kind of the point where I turned on the drone, and then you can also see from the screen that, that I recorded that shows the behavior of the drone. If you go ahead and look at that, you'll be able to see kind of the the, the flight time for that particular flight, um, and then some of the movements. I've tried to match the movements up as best I can. You know, uh, sometimes uh, worked out better than others. Um, if you are interested in seeing the actual finished footage, um, I did put it together. Uh, I'm still working on color grading, but the color grading, I put more time into it on the other one than on this one. Uh, this one I just kind of uh, threw some LUTs on, and uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to get this, this raw footage together. But uh, the, the final cut is titled Smoky Dawn. Uh, it's fairly short, and it gives, I think, a, a pretty good view of what Mongolia looks like in the winter, which is uh, actually quite smoky. <laughs> And yes, before you say anything, I know that uh, the the way that I spelled Smokey on the on the title is different from the standard way of spelling Smokey. Uh, so uh, that's just the way it is. Um, as we as I take a look at this uh, the the flights that I had, um, uh, what struck me was that even with the the severely cold weather, the the Phantom Four Pro intelligent batteries. Uh, held up really quite well. Um, I've, you know, I'm fast forwarding through a lot of this just because uh, otherwise, you know, you're going to look at it in real time, but you can follow along with the time hack to sort of keep track of, you know, when I'm speeding ahead and, and when I'm not. <laughs> There were uh, a, a number of flights. I used uh, two batteries. The first battery, I think I ran until it was about at uh, 25%. Because of the cold weather, I uh, set the, the warning up a little bit higher and uh, uh, wanted to make sure that the, the drone wasn't too high in the air and uh, wouldn't run out of battery right away. Um, but I got a, a pretty good amount of, of recording in there and flying in there. The second battery was was actually uh, pretty interesting, and the reason for that was that I uh, I took it up and it uh, flew around, and actually the the drone's battery did fine. Uh, it was it did start out colder than the the first battery that I had. Um, both these batteries were were new uh, or newish. I think maybe no more than one or two charges on each one, and. And yeah, for the for the first battery, it flew for 17 minutes and 20 seconds, um, which is great. Uh, and that left it at uh, about 23%. So you know you could get some more out of it if you if you wanted to or needed to. Um, for the, as I was saying, for the second one, it was holding up actually quite well. The issue that I ran into is that it was so cold outside 
and, and the second battery was, uh, uh, it started out colder than the first one just because it had been sitting in the car um, instead of um, uh, it, sitting in the cold car. Uh, so when I put it in, it already had the warning that said, you know, the below 15 degrees or whatever, try to, try to warm it up. Um, as much as possible, warm battery is good. But as I was saying, the, the issue that I ran into was actually the iPad froze. And um, uh, coming up here on the, on the footage, you'll, you'll see that part where uh, basically it just turned off. And because of the way the, um, the screen is in the DJI Go 4, here it is, here's where it froze. Because of the way the screen is, uh, I didn't have any way of sort of knowing or seeing the degradation of, of the battery there. So my screen goes blank, and the you know the the drone is is out there. Um, you know, fortunately on the remote control, I was able to uh, do the return to home, and over a couple of steps, it made it just fine uh, back to home and and landed. Um, interestingly, uh, when I got home, this is kind of a, a photography trick. If you've had a camera out in in the cold and you bring it into someplace warm, um, if you can, you can put it inside of a, uh, a bag or especially something that's, that's sort of airproof. And the reason for that is that the condensation uh, in the warm room won't, won't then be pulled into it. It won't be able to because it can't get through the bag. And so, you know, I put the, the iPad, I, the drone was in a, in a box and so that was fine, but I, I put the iPad inside of a uh, uh, one of the freezer bags, big Ziploc freezer bags, and let it warm up. And when it warmed up, it was back at 100%. So it was so cold for so long, you know, almost none of the, the iPad battery was actually used, but I was, uh, uh, the whole thing turned off on me. So that's probably uh, the biggest lesson. Um, stay warm when you're out there, uh, wear gloves, and just, uh, you know, pay attention to, to both your, your screen and your remote and of course your your drone and the battery levels on there and if you do that uh, you can actually take these things out to a pretty low temperature i was pretty impressed i think it was harder on me than it was on the drone uh, being out there but uh, overall uh, please go ahead and check out the the finished video um, i also have another video about how i was able to repair my remote control so you can check that out um, leave any comments or questions that you might have so uh, thank you very much <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.